Uh, well, all right, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what's up and what is glorious? Um, YouTube, the World Wide Web. As you guys can see, man, it's your host with the most, Paul Cantu. We're back with a Cantu Custom. And this one is going to be like a little quickie. It's going to be fast, but it is going to be pleasurable, um, hopefully. So the homie Xavier, one of you guys, a uh, loyal member of the Sus Squad, actually hit me up um, wanting a custom done. He came to my pop-up in Houston, and he provided me with these beautiful little short bangers right here and what he requested was some lightning down the sides and i figured you know what i'd add a splash of my own flavor and go a little bit above and beyond on this short custom so uh yeah man strap in buckle up and get ready because it's about to go down also i appreciate all you guys who left love on my last video it really does mean the world to me when you guys are just dropping comments and of course, it does really help me out when you guys like these videos because it puts my hard work in the eyes of viewers who may not previously have known me. So please just do me a favor and like this video if you can, if it's not asking for too much. But let's get into it. You dig? All right, kiddos. So first and foremost in this tutorial, we're gonna start off by sliding some cardboard in the short leg. We always need a firm surface to make masterpieces on. So the paint that I'm using is actually Angelus Direct Flat White Acrylic Paint. It is very durable when on clothing. So the first thing I did when laying down the paint was I had to build up the main bolts of the lightning. So I wanted to curve down the seam, the side seam going all the way down the thigh, adding some twists and turns along the way just to make it look a bit more interesting. So once I had the main bolt done, I added these little side bolts, low key looking like roots coming from a giant trunk of a tree or something of that nature. Isn't it curious how nature always mimics itself? Mm. So I worked my way down and added a lot of lightning bolts towards the bottom just to add a nice flow on this hoe and to make the shorts really grab your attention whenever you were viewing them. So once I had the white laid down, it looked absolutely perfect in my mind. You had a big bolt, medium sized ones, and the small guys trickling out along the way. So whipping out the color, I started with some pale blue for Paul Can 2 and had to create a nice little gradient going all the way down the bolts. So I had light blue in the middle and then some darker along the outside. It really gave the impression that this thing had some heat to it, that it was very electrically charged, and it also helped it stand out from the black backdrop that was the denim short. So I worked my way down all the little small roots of lightning with the light blue and then I outlined them in dark blue. This is pretty much all you guys have to do if you would like to try to make these shorts your damn self is just make sure that the light blue is surrounded by dark blue and then eventually we'll put white right down the center to really highlight the lightning. But of course, first and foremost, I had to work my way completely through the short and all the bolts that I had previously painted. So right here, I'm just doing some shading and some gradient work, blending the colors, and here is the final result. Now, as I said, we had to put the white right down the center of the lightning to really have that contrast on blast betwixt the white and the very dark blue on the outside. So basically that pale blue serves as a medium color that really helps it look like a flush clean gradient and makes it aesthetically pleasing to the eye so I'm just cleaning up the details right now with that final bit of white and here are the bolts done on the first thigh and they looked absolutely electric I love the way it looked but of course if you do one side you got to do the other so I laid down the giant bolt once again pretty much just rinse washed and repeated the steps all the way through this process and I have to tell you I loved it so here you go again man just adding that final bit of white to create the gradient and on the other thigh I went crazy adding a ton of bolts on both legs of the shorts and here are what the shorts look like on body enjoy And that is all she 
wrote, ladies and germs. So if you guys enjoyed this video, man, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, when I was doing the lookbook, bro, I had these unbuttoned because these are definitely too small for my thick ass waist. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, show some love, leave a comment, leave a like, do all that good stuff, maybe check out my vintage site. And until next time, man, live the dream and eat that vegan ice cream. Peace and love. I'll see y'all soon. I'm locked and loaded, and I'm gone. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life. I roost them, and I'm in it to win it. So I'm somebody that you should get used to.